Hey, I'm Alicia, one of the backing co-instructors. And I'm Kevin, one of the Android co-instructors. And welcome to... Cornell App Devs Hack, Hack Challenge! Challenge. Oh, I want a better intro. Doing it like a personal intro was so easy. What am I supposed to say now? <laughs> uh, maybe you can do something like, hello, everybody. Welcome to Hack Challenge. <laughs> uh, all right, you know what? You intro this. I don't want to start. That was the intro. All right. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. No. <laughs> You're I not have full reins over the Premiere Pro. Oh. <laughs> Careful. Anyway, this is this semester's Hack Challenge kickoff. We're going to be talking about important information for you to know for this semester's Hack Challenge. So let's just get right to it. All right. So let's just run through like what we're going to be talking about today. So we're going to talk about what exactly is our Hack Challenge, the technical requirements that you're going to need to have in the app, um, and finally, the most important part, how do you win prizes? Um, so, uh, we're going to also talk about team matching, how do you find teammates here, and, uh, a bit about, like, what's it looked like in the past. All right, so we can talk a little bit about what exactly is the Hack Challenge here with the overview. So, Hack Challenge, as the name implies, it is a hackathon, but it's rather a two-week extended hackathon instead of, like, a two-day hackathon. So this is where we're going to take students from all of our courses, iOS, Android, backend design, and have you guys work with each other to create a fully functioning app. Not just a front end, not just a back end, not just design, but something that combines all of them together uh, for a final product. So we're going to have course staff mentors, um, people on Aptiv who are in our sub teams, uh, helping you guys out. And we're also going to have challenges and prizes. So here's a general timeline. It's going to take over the course of two weeks. Uh, technically, team formation opens you know, during Thanksgiving break, but you don't have to do that until after Thanksgiving break. It's going to be due Tuesday on December 1st at midnight EST. Then after a week, we're going to have some midpoint checks with our mentors, just making sure that you guys are on track to finishing your app on time. And we'll also have midpoint submissions. Then after another week on Monday, December 14th, we're going to have final submissions. And we're going to talk a little bit about what those look like. Then the day after, at an undetermined time so far, but probably sometime in the evening, we will be having a Hack Challenge finale, which is our event for uh, us to show off all the great submissions that you guys have made. And we're going to be awarding prizes, and it's going to be super fun. So what are the, log the logistics? So we're not going to be doing this over uh, whatever our courses have been using, like Piazza or Slack or whatnot, we will have our own dedicated Discord. So we have an in invite link here to our Hack Challenge Discord, and uh, hopefully you can join as soon as you see this video. We will also have the link somewhere in the description or however we send this out to you guys. And yeah, the Discord is going to be used for all Hack Challenge related communication. So we're going to have announcements, we're going to have team formation, and we're also going to have like office hours there. So make sure that you are on the Discord. We will probably hunt you down if you're not. All right, so let's talk about um, what you want to have in your app. So for iOS, the requirements are as such. You need an auto layout, you need a UI collection view or UI table view, you need navigation, and you need to use a CocoaPod of some sort. Alamo, Fire, Snapkit, the works. Um, and finally, this needs to be networked. You have to work with a backend engineer to get it all set up over the internet. Similarly on Android, um, you need three visually different screens. So three screens that like are clearly different from each other in the app somewhere. Um, you need a recycle view, you need implicit intents, and you need to set up a permission system of some sort. And finally, all the same, you need networking. This cannot be a local app. This has to have internet functionality. Yeah, and for backend requirements, it's going to look very similar to basically all the assignments we've done uh, that you guys have done. So you're going to be designing your own API specification instead of us giving you them. You're going to be designing your own endpoints, your own relational database schema. And then once that all works locally, you will be deploying it to Heroku so that the front end devs can connect to your back end. 
Um, you might have noticed also design doesn't actually have a slide here on requirements. That's because designers are not required to do hack challenge, but we will talk a little bit about some recommended things that uh, people who do decide to do the hack challenge as a designer and what they can do. But first, Kevin can talk a bit about the midpoint submission. So by the mid, by, well, one week through, um, for iOS uh, developers, you should have one collection view or table uh, UI table view um, and one navigation interaction. Back end, you're going to be designing your SQL Alchemy models. Uh, you're going to do a couple of routes and you should be able to run your back end locally. For Android, we want you to have at least one recycler view already put in there and a navigation interaction. Yeah, and then again, for design, if applicable, uh, you know, designers should probably be doing some user research, figuring out a problem statement, uh, finalize your navigational hierarchy, and maybe do some medium fidelity mocks, just so that all the front end devs can sort of get with it. Um, and then for the final submission, so we're not going to be submitting this as an assignment to CMS, you're just going to be uh, submitting it as a Google Form submission, uh, which will include some information like a link to your GitHub repository, which we're going to talk about in a second, and it's going to have a readme for each repository describing your app. Um, as a note, so Cornell has their own uh, GitHub repository. You might know it as like Coesis, C-O-E-C-I-S. Uh, don't use that. Use like the normal public GitHub so that people are able to view your beautiful source code. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about GitHub. Um, I believe Kevin actually has already made a demo about Git and GitHub. So uh, we will be releasing that for everybody so that you can you know, learn GitHub. But um, just as a primer, GitHub is essentially just like a remote site that you can store your source code on. So this makes collaboration really easy. You don't have to like email each other source code or anything. It's all uh, handled in GitHub and it will be stored remotely. So it's not just on your machine. Uh, this is an example of a repository. You can think of it as like a folder for our eatery code. So it's really nice. And uh, what a readme is, it's just like a document, a text document uh, describing your app. So how do you install it? How do you use it? You know, things like that. And this is really useful and every app should pretty much have this so that uh, you know, we know what's going on with your app. Okay, so we can also talk a bit about challenges. So as with many hackathons, Hack Challenge will have prizes and every submission will be eligible for winning a prize, which is really exciting. So we have four main categories. Uh, we have best user interface, best backend integration, best remote era app. So you can think what kind of app would be really useful during this time when we don't get to see each other in person, when we're all quarantined, uh, think along those lines. And then we'll have sort of a judge's choice best overall app. So uh, each team, uh, each person on a team will be rewarded with a prize of about $25 in value. So uh, this might range from like gift cards to subscription services to maybe sort of like, uh, I think like food delivery credit. Uh, you will see, it will be a surprise. Probably not for long, we'll probably figure that out soon. But um, yeah, and it will be super exciting. Each class will also have their own course specific shout outs. So these won't have a prize, but it's just a good chance to you know get your work noticed and shout it out to everyone else in the class for doing such an excellent job. Um, so Kevin will talk a bit about team matching. So for the team requirements, um, yeah, maximum four people per team. Um, that's the limit that we've had historically, and we're keeping that here. Uh, no more than two backend, uh, two frontend, or one designer on a team. Um, but a minimum of at least you have a one backend engineer and one frontend engineer. Teams may either be iOS or Android, um, not both. We don't want you spreading yourselves too thin. And so for now, we're restricting each app to one platform. Um, and students in multiple classes can choose uh, one or more roles. Um, so yeah, you can, you can pick a specific role to play. And when you're finding a team, um, check out the team formation uh, channel in, this, in Discord for a pinned spreadsheet link. Um, where you can submit an idea or browse through all the submitted ideas 
um, write your name and your role down and reach out to your teammates on Discord. Cool. So here are some past projects and examples from previous winners in previous hack challenges. So this is just an example of what kind of really cool stuff that you're going to be able to make by the end of the semester, right? Uh, we have Foodie here. It's a fully functioning app. It looks beautiful. It's really useful. And that's what your app is going to be, beautiful and useful. Uh, here's another one, Birdie, which was super cool. This won one of the prizes, and it has <laughs> honestly a beautiful design. So make sure to find a designer. They will bring lots of good stuff to your app. Um, and back back in the day where we were in person, you know, this would be a fun little kickoff uh, with, you know, a presentation in person. But hopefully, maybe in future uh, events, we can do the same. But we will still be having our Hack Challenge finale, and this will be synchronous. Uh, so we can have our own little Zoom room party. So yeah, uh, we hope that you guys have, you know, have a lot of fun making these apps. Uh, we think that this is probably the most fun part about our courses, at least when I took the course, when I was a freshman, I loved doing the Hack Challenge. Um, and yeah, good luck. Yeah, so that's that. Um, please sign up for the Discord, as we said, and we look forward to seeing everything you make in about two weeks. Good luck.